Yep, Knights in Miami. Lamborghini truck. Knights in Miami. And guess who's there? Legend. Legend is there. But guess who's not there? CJ. And who had to pick him up on the 6th? His mother. But who did she leave and ditch him for? Clarence. And who did she decide to stay with in Miami? Legend. Why? Because that's what Clarence wanted. So, yeah. Welcome to my city, fam. Well, not fam, because I don't like you like that. Welcome to my city, Slime. And if you guys basically were doubting if Legend was there, he's there. And it just goes to show you that you, you chose one baby to come. And this baby is a lot more maintenance because this baby is a handful. Kid, he's like a toddler now, like probably almost two terrible twos. CJ is obedient. You tell him to sit down, he's going to sit down. That big old tour bus. That big old tour bus. Okay. And you mean to tell me that you couldn't fly your son out on the 6th? to be in Miami with you on a tour bus with with the family because you don't have just one son you have both and the sixth is when you were supposed to the point is is that you were supposed to get him on the sixth court order the sixth and you basically kept legend in Miami you brought legend to Miami but you left CJ in Houston with his dad why the favoritism comment down below and tell me why the favoritism let me know if you have arrangements to get your son on the 6th and you are in Miami, your your son, your youngest son is in Miami, but your other son is not. And Clarence, he don't give zero Fs about your son because he's flaunting legend in the car and he doesn't care. He doesn't care about disrespecting or degrading your firstborn. That's why he's flaunting legend in the car because every, he sees what social media is saying, but he don't care. So it's like this dude is disrespectful. He don't care nothing about you or your son. And that's exactly why she didn't bring CJ to Miami because she knew that Clarence wasn't having it. But legend can come to Miami. Legend can basically legend can fly out everywhere, have vacations, all of that. But CJ cannot do that. He cannot be out of Miami with his mom living life. He can't be out there, you know, um, meeting family and friends of her so-called man that she wants to marry. He can't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? He's always pushed off at a babysitter's house, neighbor's house. And, you know, even when it's not her dad's t his, even when it's not his dad's time, you know, she pushes him off to him all to please this fool right here. So this is the prime example of a mother basically putting a dude over her child and... Here he is with his son matching and how nice it would be if they all could match together, him, CJ, and Legend, but they left CJ out again. And that's why I will never have respect for her. Her fans are deluded. They're snorting. I don't know what they're snorting, but they need to get rid of it and quit it because if you think that this is okay, your mother dropped you on your head, point blank, period. So why the favoritism? Let me know. Why you ditch your son? Why, you, why didn't you get him on the 6th when the judge ordered you to? You got from the 22nd to the 6th for, for Chris to have him. It's okay for Chris to have him because it's great for him. It's, you know, more time for him or whatever the case may be. But if you, it, but if you really, really love your son and you so concerned about his safety and then on top of that, you have one son in Miami, wouldn't you think to bring your other son? Wouldn't your motherly instinct tell you, hmm, legend is in Miami. CJ should be here too. And it's my time to get him. It's the 6th. And you leave him with his dad. You ain't shit. Point blank, period. And I don't care what nobody say. You ain't shit. Deadbeat ass mother. Point blank, period. Chris is the better parent. And that's that on that.